What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdies all? To your buddy Big Johnny G, the Two Gun Pixel presents Legendary Gaming. <laughs> all right, my friends, we are here for another tabletop takeout. <laughs> We are here with another gaming radar, another 2GP gaming radar to be precise. This is another one of our daily Christmas holiday radars. <laughs> now, me and my long time, so I really got to cut it down a little bit. So we got a game today that uh, is a Kickstarter game that should be hitting the market like right after Christmas. Uh, it is so near, it's almost in the backer's hands, and this game is a great sci-fi dungeon bell. There's a few of them out there. There's a lot of them out there. There's a few good ones. And this might just be counted among one of the great ones. Why don't you join me down the table, and I'll tell you about Secret Unknown Stuff, Escape from Dungeon. Yes, indeed, my friends. Welcome back for another gaming radar for our daily Christmas gaming radar. So today I want to talk about a game, as I was saying from Kickstarter. It's a sci-fi dungeon delving game, as I said. And this game caught my attention. It caught my attention for several reasons. And this is why I think this deserves to be on everyone's radar if you haven't bought this game already. So Escape from Dolce. It's the first part of Secret Unknown Stuff's trilogy. They already have the next two planned out. They have some expansion modules for the first one already. <gasps> and the expansion modules look like old school D&D modules. Oh, oh, Craig, you and your buddies over there rock. I could not like your game anymore. I, I really don't know if I could. So, this is a an escape game. This is a dungeon delving game. This is a sci-fi game. This is also a paranormal cryptozoology game. <laughs> so in this game, you wake up from a cryostasis kind of chamber thing, and you find yourself in the bottom level, the, 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 the most basement, sub-basement level of a giant scientific organization inside a mesa in Dulce, New Mexico. If that sounds familiar, you're probably a ufologist or ancient astronaut theorist because their game is based on all of that. Whether you believe it or not, whether it is real or not, that's what it's based on. So you wake up in the Dulce base and you have to escape. Whoa, hold on, it's a little bit more interesting than that. You're not just Farmer Bob. You're not just uh, the local reporter. No. You're really unique. Each and every one of you that, the players that you could play. Amelia Earhart. You could play Amelia Earhart. Yeah. Why did she disappear? Aliens. That's why. Aliens. Aliens are the answer to everything in this game. You can play a family that has been genetically mutated into this one amorphic kind of being. You can be a reptilian. You can be a gray. There's a lot of options in this game. You can be a psychic two-headed cow. Yeah, I said it. You can be a psychic two-headed cow. <laughs> wow. Um, now, that alone doesn't make it great. That is definitely part of it. Something else I enjoy about the game, and all the 20-sided warriors did, 
when we played this game, uh, we, uh, we got a chance to review this game uh, about a year ago. And another thing we liked about it is the board. It is a stacked board, literally. Since you are at the bottom, trying to escape from the mesa, you literally have to work up levels. It's like uh, seven, six, it's like six levels. And each level has a boss. So you gotta get through all this, you've gotta survive, you gotta find clues, you gotta upgrade equipment in a very RPG style. Yeah, you're gonna get equipment and it's gonna fit maybe, depending on who you are. Like the body armor will fit Amelia Earhart. But the body armor is not gonna fit the two-headed psychic cow. It's most certainly not gonna fit the muted family. So there are special items just for these individuals. And there are some items that most individuals can use. So that's a great balance. It has also an RPG system of experience and leveling up. And as you level up, your stats, your abilities, your dice rolls are gonna be improving. And you're gonna need that, as every level, it gets a bit tougher. This game should be on anyone's radar who loves science fiction, who loves dungeon delving games. And even if you're not a huge gamer, if you're an ancient astronaut theorist or a ufologist, <laughs> this game is gonna be really fun for you to have around the house. You know, you'll pull it out every now and then, have a little fun with it. It's gonna be a, almost a status thing. And it deserves to be shown off. Trust me, this game looks beautiful. The miniatures are gorgeous. The tower is sturdy and fantastic. I mean, even the copy we got, which was a non-final version copy that we were sending out to reviewers, it had been reviewed by half a dozen people before we got it, and it was still sturdy. And that wasn't the final version. I've seen the final version. It's like, wow, just, just amazing. Why aren't more games done like this? So, uh, <laughs> secret unknown stuff. Escape from Dulce. This is a game that's gonna be a ton of fun. It's gonna look great on your shelf. It's gonna look great on the table. And it might also be a conversation starter. <laughs> yeah, put this game on your radar. Check this game out. If you get a chance to watch our video or someone else's video, do so. If, if you end up seeing it at a board game cafe someday, take it down, play it. You're gonna like this. So thank you much, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you for checking us out on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Thank you so much for checking out our Zazzle store and checking out all the great t-shirts like our Unit 13, our official Unit 13 podcast line of items can be found there. Uh, Zazzle, Two Good and Pixie, thank you for supporting us there. Speaking of support, thank you so much for supporting us here on YouTube. Thank you for liking and commenting, and of course, as you know, thank you so much for sharing our videos with your other nerdy and gaming buddies on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks. That means a lot. It really does. So please keep that up. That's one of the best things you can give back to us. So thank you, everyone. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G. Two Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. My friends, I'm out of here. For now!